the sweet embrace just before a joint media interview, allowing siblings Brennan and Jill Solnier to reconnect nearly 1,000 miles from their hometown of Halifax, Nova Scotia. We haven't been on the same ice sheet since we were 13, I think, 12 or 13. Uh, which I'm not going to date us, but that's a long time ago. Um, so it is. It's really cool. And our family, I mean, we're from Nova Scotia, and they, they don't get out to watch much because we're so far and we're all over the world. So, um, you know, for everybody to be here, you know, however many years later, uh, same rank, same weekend, it, it's, it is, it's, it's a pretty surreal kind of thing for us, especially, you know, at this point in our careers. Jill, a 2018 Olympic silver medalist and 2021 world champion, suiting up with Team Canada as part of the My Why Tour commencing in Allentown Friday. And Brennan, a forward with the Phantoms, sparking some energy in the team's opener on Saturday. The pair separated by two years with fond memories of their younger days on the ice. Every second uh, year we were actually playing on the same team together, which is, you know, extremely cool. and. Um, you know, dad would build the backyard rink and in the summers we were playing on the streets. So um, just to have someone to compete with and, um, you know, hang around and, and work on our game and get better every day and, you know, dream together. And um, it was pretty cool. You know, the only difference, you know, is, is that she had a ponytail. Fast forward 15 years from when Jill was one of only three girls playing in her hometown to a stage featuring dozens of the world's best players, now role models in the sport. The game's all-female broadcasting and officiating crew, including Laura White, who would also don the stripes Saturday as one of 10 women officiating games in the American Hockey League this season, proof that the sport is growing in all the right ways. To be able to play here, um, you know, with the top level in the world, against top level in the world, and, you know, continue to see, you know, now there's, you know, females kind of dominating the males game as well. It's huge, and I think it's something that, you know, a lot of guys and, not only just on the female side, but the guy side is proud of, it's proud to be a part of. So I think that's huge, and I think it just shows, you know, the the changes that are being made in the sporting world. Um, just a testament to, you know, Jill's journey and what she's gone on, and you know, when she leaves this game someday, I know she can look uh, look back and be so proud of, you know, not the gold medals and the Olympics and and you know all the uh, honors in NCAA, but you know, to really grow the game and the community and the impact she had on on all those little girls and boys back home in Halifax. Although older, Jill found a passion for hockey after Brennan and calls her brother the reason why back then and the undrafted minor leaguer who clawed his way into a Phantoms contract, her inspiration now. I see now how far passion can really get someone and it's just proof, you know, and it's just when I'm having a tough day or things aren't going well or I'm feeling like I'm grinding in and out of a lineup, I just remember, you know, how, how far that you know, that grit and that passion can really bring you just from seeing what he did. You know, kudos to the Phantoms here. You know, they saw that in him and they brought him here. And um, I, I've only heard amazing things and watched the guys. And I'm a huge fan now. I'm a Flyers <laughs> fan, apparently. Um, but uh, yeah, it's just it's just a testament to, you know, grit and passion. And this guy, you know, wears his heart on his sleeve. And I know when he hangs his skates up one day and, you know, mine are next to him, um, you know, we'll be pretty proud of each other for, for the journey we had. Thanks, bud.